what are other factors that play a big role in either like fully embracing these you know code assistance is it about how diverse how you know big is the ecosystem or is a single player system because when we look at the cloud we talk about multi cloud we leverage services from different cloud providers depending on uh, what what their excel excellence is so when it comes to ai code engineering what kind of ecosystem you see we are going to build the good thing is that uh, the the problem that code assistants are trying to solve is a very well defined problem right it is it is a logic problem uh, it is not one of expressing something emotionally or you know controversially uh, so so these are these are well structured things which means that as you're looking to build new models and train them you can actually train them really fast because if something is incorrect you can actually test it you can test the output and train the model to like have corrections right away so the model the rate of model improvement for coding models will actually be really really fast um, the, the kinds of issues that executives should should look at is, you know, will will your code quality go up or down, right? What what sort of what sort of outcome are you expecting? What is the goal of your adoption? Uh, is it simply, uh, you know, is it a productivity measure? Um, is it that, uh, you know, do you do you ha are you having trouble finding the kind of developers you need to get the kind of job done? Is it a more legacy language like COBOL where there are not a lot of trained developers available? So what, what subspace of the problem are you looking to solve? And that may influence your decision to, to select one type of uh, coding assistant over another. So in, if you have a general purpose coding assistant that attaches to any IDE for modern languages, that may have a certain type of price structure and licensing, et cetera, et cetera. But if you have a highly specialized coding assistant which says, okay, we are for the IBM mainframe modernization program, and we can actually take old COBOL and make it something more modern with Java or Go or whatever else. That's a whole other thing. And that that type of coding assistant may actually cost a lot more. It may cost a couple of hundred dollars a month. But again, these problems traditionally have been so expensive that it may again be well worth it. So executives have to kind of go in very clear-minded about what it is that they're looking for when they want their teams to adopt a coding assistant.